Hello and welcome to another free to play Fortnite. This week we'll be talking about the CP9 Fortnite, which features Jabra, Kumidori, Fukuro, and Blueno. This isn't a very particularly difficult Fortnite. The only restriction is that you only get the coloured orbs, so no meat or TND orbs, which might be a little annoying for maybe Fujitora and Colosseum Vista teams, but it's not that big of a deal. This Fortnite, as I said, isn't very difficult. The team I will be using is a double Linnell team with no skill ups because you can stall infinitely with a double Linnell because you'll heal so much and you know, you just get all your special ups and it'll just be a piece of cake. I'm using Johnny to give me adjacent meat orbs, which Rob Lucci will then turn into quick orbs as well as giving the units adjacent to him quick orbs, which is, you know, a full board of matching quick orbs. Kaku as the orb booster and Halloween Zoro as the staller just for safety, but I don't really need him really. You don't have to use this team if you don't have a Nell, you can just use a Slasher team or a Zeph team. You'll see this uh, Fortnite isn't very difficult. You might want to bring a defense reducer just because Kumidori and Blueno have a de uh, defense buff, but other than that, you don't really need any specialized units. So with all that said, let's get started. So the first couple stages aren't very difficult, uh, you can just clear them or store for specials if you wish. I'll probably need to because I'm using an Anel team with no max specials, so I need to store like 32 turns. Uh, so let's just talk about the skill books you can get, obviously uh, Legend Jinbei is the best skill book if you have him. Giving all fighters matching orbs is really strong so you have to definitely max him if you have Jinbei. Other skill books, Squaldo, he's pretty good as a Psy. Uh, or booster but he sucks for sh uh, strong orbs shanks since he lowers your HP which makes his captain ability worse but for striker and other side teams he's pretty strong hack cuts HP by 20% again pretty strong Frankie uh, takes away all quick damage for one turn that's also really good the other ones are kind of meh but the there are four good skill books all the characters on this Fortnite are decent enough they don't require any evolution so if you're a new player that's pretty nice you just level them up and they have decent-ish stats for the most part. Uh, one of them is Kumidori, he's a dex powerhouse striker, he has okay stats, and his captain ability is garbage and so is his special. He just randomizes your orbs into just the colored ones, which isn't all that great. If you really need to get rid of block orbs, maybe use him, but otherwise not too good, but he's not terrible if you're starting out. Uh, the, the secret stage on this island is Fukuro, if he appears, he'll just half your HP and then disappear, but he's a 100% drop rate like at all secret stages. He has the chance to appear on any stage except for the final boss. He boosts quick and H uh, he boosts the attack and HP of quick units by 1.5 times, which is garbage. And he changed his special. He changes TND and RCV to quick orbs, which is just the worst version of the Rob Lucci I'm using. He's a quick fight uh, powerhouse, so not too good either. But his stats are okay-ish. Blueno is a Psy fighter powerhouse. He, his captain ability reduces damage by 25% which is horrifically awful. But his special uh, reduces damage by 60% and boosts powerhouse and fighters by 1.3 for one turn which is borderline okay. It's not, you're really not going to use it if you have something better but it's not bad. Stats are also nice, 2000 HP, 700 attack isn't great but you know if you're starting out he's not terrible but the main guy to get if he really needs him, is um, the final boss Jabra because he boosts powerhouse by one by 2.25 times which is pretty powerful for a free character and a special boost orb for two turns but unfortunately only for uh, free spirit. Now we've gone to the Kumidori boss, he's qu uh, a dex unit which means my quick team will do garbage damage to him but he doesn't, he does like 3500 damage and I heal about 3000 at the end of each turn so it's pretty impossible for him to kill me. It will take quite a long time. Uh, he doesn't do anything really special, obviously he starts off with this defense boost which is especially annoying for this quick team. But uh, if you drop him below 20% he will drop you to like half a percent of HP, like really low. But then he won't, he can't kill you and it will give you all meat orbs. So this stage is pretty hard to fail, especially with this team since you have so much heal. If you're using like a slasher team, again probably won't be too difficult. Even if you, it's probably more annoying to get him below 20% if you're not using this team because you won't be able to heal up. But you know, just avoid 20% use a stall or just kill him, it's not all that difficult. This Fortnite overall is pretty easy. Again, Kumidori isn't a, the greatest character to get but if you have, you know, this iron's mostly for sockets outside of Jabra. Jabra is a decent unit. As I was saying, he uh, boosts free spirit units, it's orbs for 2 turns by uh, 1.5 times which is pretty strong. Uh, Free Spirit didn't really have a great 
uh, or booster before this guy coming to global. That was free anyway. If you had seen your pink, he was good. But now you have a chance. It sucks that like you can't use it for the strength team. But you know, he's still pretty good. He has 2,000 HP and 1,200 attack, which is pretty good. Just taking my sweet time killing this Kumidori. Uh, you can use a Merry Go if you don't have 1,000 Sunny. Don't really use the. Actually, I do. <laughs> But if you're not bad like me, I, I do this on purpose, I swear, I do the Fortnites as poorly as possible just to prove that you can play super bad and still play these things. I used uh, Zora Special to stall, but I didn't need to. I kind of just didn't want to drop that low HP even if this um, can't kill me. Blue Mano has a 3 turn CD and he, obviously you see by the Skull thing he will one shot because he does so much damage. He will lock you after like 3 turns I think, but... He has a 3 turn CD, but if you drop him below 20%, like I did, just to show you what he does, he has a huge defense buff. As you see here, I'm doing like 6 damage. So yeah, he's quite strong if you get him below 20%. So maybe don't do that like I did, <laughs> because I'm an idiot. Yeah, so I'll just kill him with the, th the fixed special from NL and 1000 Sunny. Broeno is not too difficult. And then the final boss is Jabra, and the whole point of using this quick team is that I can one-shot him. So just use all the specials, make sure if you're using the team I am to use uh, Johnny first, not Lob Luchi, if you want to not be an idiot. Which, you know, I was very capable of doing, of doing this in the wrong order and just being very annoyed. I probably could have killed him even if I did this though, in the wrong order. Because you will see, I will kill Jabra in just 4 hits. But, you know, can never be too safe. Uh, you don't need to really use this powerful special, you really could have just killed him without the NL special. I didn't even really have to stall for that. But yeah, hopefully you'll be able to play this Fortnite and you should 100% be able to because it's not very hard. Uh, so good luck farming if you have any of the skill books you need or you just want to soccer your CP9 units or you need a free spirit or booster. Well that's it for this video, thanks for watching, uh, I'll see you next time, my Nakama!